Hello everyone, it's me Eva Stanver and in today's lesson we'll be discussing about the main contributions of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan in the upliftment of Muslims. The political contributions. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan was strong advocate of British Muslim harmony, according to Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, following two reasons were vital for the improvement of relations between the two, the British and the Muslims eradicating the misconceived notions of Muslims by the British, which was distorted by the belief that Muslims were primarily to be blamed for the events of the War of 1857 and hence deserved to be suppressed. Muslims considered that Western ideas conflicted with Islamic teachings. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, on the other hand, urged Muslims to benefit from Western science and technology. Social Contribution in his pursuance of defending Muslims' position, Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan wrote many scholarly writings to build the case of Muslims as loyal to the British government. These include the Loyal Muhammadans of India 1860 essay on the causes of Indian revolt and the Biyanul Kalm, similarities between Islam and Christianity. Educational Contribution Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan aspired to transform Muslim educational achievement by instilling a desire for high-quality education. There were around 711 Hindus in the administration in 1871. Compared to only 92 Muslims, Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan wanted Muslims to understand the need of education for the progression and to be able to exercise their political and administrative rights. He believed that the Holy Quran emphasizes the importance of obtaining scientific education, which contributes to comprehending Allah Almighty's entire magnificence. His contributions include opening of schools in Muradabad and Ghazipur, replicating British education for the Muslims of India, opening of Muhammadan Anglo-Oriental College and organization of Muhammad, Muhammad Educational Conference in 1886. Significance. The important role played by Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan during the depressing years of Muslim history in the subcontinent was the driving force between the movement of education and of education prosperity for the Muslim community. He convinced both British and Muslims to review their rigid approach towards each other and focus on the mutual cooperation. He made Muslims realize the importance of education and its significance in improving the socio-economic status for the Muslims of Muslims in the community. The Renaissance area was the result of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan's efforts. It brought political awareness and realization of the value of education. Owing to these contributions, Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan is rightly titled as the father of Pakistan movement. So that's it for today's lesson, everybody. I hope you learned something new today. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. See you in the next lesson.